It's a very good day. Assalamu alaikum, friends and colleagues. This is a very exciting day for us because we have an all women's team to do a case, and our patient is also a female patient. Now, this is a 52 year old lady, diabetic, and um, she has double vessel disease. She had an inferior MI a few years back. At present, she has a stable angina pectoris. So today, to commemorate uh, International Women's Day, we have an entire team of women doing this case. So we have with us uh, a guest operator, Dr. Mariam Khandakar. Uh, she, is a, she is a fellow from, uh, cardiology fellow from University of Miami, Jackson Memorial Hospital, uh, Miami, Florida. And um, we also have Nazmun Laila with us. They will be doing the case, and I'm the in-house moderator, and I might join them if required. So Nazmun Laila, Mariam Khandakar. Then we have Leepi, our very, very capable sister in charge of the cath lab. She's an excellent sister, really is a treasure to have with us. And we have with us our lady technician, Preeti. Now, Preeti might look small in size, but she's really strong in character and very smart and brave. It has You have to be brave uh, to tackle uh, complex cases like she does day to, on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we've got, two, uh, we've got another lady technician in the making. She's one of our interns, and uh, Onusri. Onusri. So Onusri is with us. Actually, we've got quite a few female uh, technicians in, uh, working in our cat lab, and we are so proud of them. We also have a lot of female interventional cardiologists in the making. I'm sorry that today we don't have all of them here because it would get too crowded. Uh, but uh, we are missing you all, Smita and Ismat and Fozia. So they all are interventional cardiologists. Some are already attending, some are in the training. So uh, we are really proud to say that we've got a great crowd in Heart Foundation. And um, we have an all-female crowd today doing this case. And we've got another sister with us. Shahana is with us as well. So now let's go to the case. So, uh, as you can see, this is a uh, right uh, artery, so let's uh, have the first view. If we go to the first view, you can see that uh, it was a subtotal occlusion which they have managed to open up with a microcatheter and a, a fine cross microcatheter uh, and a run-through wire. You used a run-through wire, right? And now... They're pushing their micro and taking the wire forward. Yeah. So the wire is behaving quite well. And let's see how things... Uh, with run-through, you do a large curve, okay? With pilot, you just do it with the needle. Here, you just go at the sliver end of the uh, CTO, uh, CTO wire and just give it a bit. Uh, if you have seen the Gaia series of wires, that is our aim. Like in Gaia 1, Gaia 2, just a very small, someone can focus. Have we, have we managed to do the tip? Yeah, it looks fine, I think. L well, let's see. So we're taking now, so we started with the run through and a micro we were pretty confident that we would be able to do the case with that I've already pulled back our micro a bit so that our Conquest Pro gets enough space uh, to move. And also, the micro was sort of uh, looking down towards the branch. We don't want that to happen. So interestingly, this lady does not have a LED lesion. She mainly 
what we want to do is we want to go and touch the CTO. We want our wire to look up and touch the CTO and then we, will, we want to penetrate with this wire. It's going to the same small branch again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm just. I no. I'm. I just made my micro go a bit. Like this. So good thing that this is a life in box. <laughs> It's never a good idea to do a life case for a CTO. I'm trying to do it, get it upwards, but the wire has this tendency to just go and look down again and again. No, it's gone into that branch again, I think. It's the same. I think it's different now. Now we've... Let's see whether it goes freely. And when you're opening a seat, you look at the tip of the wire. You don't want it to move too freely because then you're in the pericardium maybe. But you want your tip to dance. You want it to... Yeah, so enough. Yes, please. Yes. So now what we'll do is we'll hold our wire. We don't want it to go any further. I I'll hold it. And then we're going to sort of push our micro down. So we're again doing the pre-dilatation. don't see anything now so we'll just go to the proximal cap right We see a, uh, both are in the lumen, yes. So when we take a CTO shot, it always has to be a long shot until the dye washes out. Because we want to see everything, the distal vessel, everything. And we're going to around 12 to 14 atmospheric pressures with a 2 by 20 semi-compliant balloon. Ten, twelve. So this is the proximal end of the CTO, right? Six, fourteen. What happened? With Once the stent is through, I think we might r remove our PLV. Yes, please, we can make our stent ready now. Remove the PLV wire. We 
need to check please with with die to see our position so there was quite a bit of disease in the pda so we've decided to go I into the pda yes please So the nominal for this tent is uh, 8, it's an uh, Ultimaster Tansai, and we've gone to 9, then we'll, so we're going to the nominal, deflating, and then we'll pull back our ten balloon, and or when it deflates, then we'll go to higher pressure. So we do not want to create any distal edge dissection. That should be fine. We can have a look now, I think, right? Check, please. Check. This looks... What's that? That's venous. We'll remove our... Uh, once we take our second stent, we'll remove our PLV wire. Don't want to jail it too much. So uh, this was uh, quite a long procedure. It turned out this was a long segment CTO uh, involving uh, the distal part of the, from mid, starting from almost the mid RCA up extending into the bifurcation PDA, PLV. The, PD, the PDA was also diseased from its ostia, very long segment disease. So after opening up this tent, we actually needed a Conquest Pro to open up this RCA with the help of a microcatheter. We did, uh, actually we did wire escalation. First we started with uh, run through floppy wire with our microcatheter. Wire was not going. Then we went to a Pilot 50, could not manage to wire the vessel. Eventually we were able to manage the PDA with the help of a Conquest Pro wire. We exchanged the wire for uh, uh, run through wire with the help of our microcatheter. We also tried to open up the PLV, but uh, in the proximal part, we uh, there was a bit of subintimal injury, nothing serious. Uh, we then proceeded to do pre dilatation and then we put three stents sequentially, one after the other. We started from the uh, L uh, PDA and then went from distal to proximal. And we did a thorough job of post dilatation, and the final result is quite good. Let's have a look at the final result. So this is our final result. And if we uh, can give pre uh, pre procedure picture with the post procedure, you can appreciate that we've managed to open up a substantial RCA. We then went on to treat the from uh, the LCX, quite a large vessel with a large OM. So we uh, wired that vessel, did pre dilatation, and then we took a single stent, uh, 2.5 by 38 millimeter drug eluding stent, which we deployed from LCX into the OM. And that result was also pretty good. So, quite a complex case because of the length of the CTO in the RCA, but we are happy that the all women's team came out successful and did a great job. So, congratulations to all of the uh, young interventional cardiologists who are with us, uh, to our technician and to our uh, uh, chief of uh, nursing in the cath lab, Lippi. And um, I just want to say that this is one case, but and there were only a few of us present here, but we have a phenomenal team, not only of women, but also the men are pretty good here, very good in fact. And uh, the, uh, regarding uh, as it's Women's International Day, I just want to say that we have uh, uh, four cardiologists, young female cardiologists training here at present. And Mariam Khandakar came all the way from USA and did a one month training here. And uh, Nazmoon is already an assistant professor and independent operator. We've also got Smita Kanungo, another assistant professor. And we've got a registered Ismotara who's training. And we also have uh, Fozia, also another young registrar who's training here. So we've got quite a big team. And how many nurses do you have in the cath lab, Lippi? All female nurses, 29. 
so 29 nurses and the technicians could you name so the na uh, technicians are already working is Preeti and Onusri and then uh, we have Rohima and uh, we also have so these so we've got three female technicians and that's where we are unique in Bangladesh we really are so happy that we have female technicians here and they're doing a great job and I would like to say thank you for watching this case and happy women international women's day thank you no.